I am starting my healing. This is just my truth. You can't help who you love. You can't help who you fall in love with. You can't help who you grow a connection with. And I never wanted to be the bitch that cry on social media because I'm not no dog ass bitch. I have gave it myself to one man. For a year and three months. And just one man. Not nobody else. And you build so much with that person. You go through so much with that person. And my healing process. I can't tell y'all. it is for me to sleep <laughs> or how hard it is for me to get up um, and this one hurts the most because I really thought that I was gonna marry this man <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And it is fall, fall weather is officially here, and I love it. That's one of my favorite seasons, hoodie season. I love hoodie season. You can't tell me nothing about hoodie season. Like, the summer is overrated to me. It's super hot in the summer. People be walking around sweating. You, every time you drive somewhere, it takes mad long to get there because everybody outside, the roads is all congested. People are drunk walking out in the middle of the street. People don't be taking care of their hygiene. They be walking around stank. The women be walking around smelling like fried fish. The dudes be walking around musty. Like, nah, give me fall weather, give me spring weather, all right? Fall is nice, it's warm, all right? During the peak hours from like 12 to like 4, then it's cool right now, and it's cool in the morning. I like it. Spring, same thing. It's hot when it's supposed to be hot. It's cool when it's supposed to be cool. It's like the perfect weather. You don't got to turn on your heater. You don't got to turn on your air conditioning so you get to save on your electric. I love it. Because I'm sorry, y'all. We have real winters in the DMV. We have real winters in the DMV, all right? So everybody think winter is cool because y'all don't get no snow, y'all don't get no ice. Now, it's not as bad here as it was in New York. But, man, I'm telling you, once it gets past Christmas, you be good with the white. Get the white up out of here, all right? And in the summer, I already told y'all what's wrong with the summer. But anyway, we're not here to talk about seasons. We're here to talk about NLE's Choppa's girlfriend going live and crying because she thought they were going to be married and he broke up with her because he wanted to be free. He wanted to sort his royal oats, all right? And... First thing I want to say is, why are you surprised by that? For those of you who don't know, NLE Chop is only 19. I repeat, he's only 19. There's still a teen at the end of his age. I repeat, he's still a teen. It's 19, as in he's a teenager. So why would you, as a 26, about to be 27-year-old woman, even be taking this 19-ager seriously in any type of context? Talk about something. I thought we were going to get married. Why would you think a 19-year-old was going to marry you? Why would you think that? Now, I had to come in here, all right, and battle with some goofies, not all, but some goofy women who were trying to argue that Lori Harvey was too young to get married at 25. At 25. I need you guys to understand, okay? The majority of women were in agreement. Well, let me not say the majority. There was a good amount of women who were in agreement that 25 is too young. You shouldn't be expecting them to take serious. And they were all picking on Michael B. Jordan. That's what y'all get for dating young. If he had dated someone his own age, he wouldn't have had this problem. But this grown-ass woman comes out here crying because a 19-year-old doesn't want to stay committed or in a serious relationship with her. And the ladies feel bad. Oh, my God, I feel for her. He really hurt her, da-da-da. Now, again, to be fair, just like the Lori Harvey situation, there are some women who are like, well, you're an idiot because he's 19 year olds but it should be all women who are like you're an idiot because he's 19 years old just like Brittany Ritter got away with being a predator and sent her big grown mid-20 ass at a Kentucky basketball game hollering at PJ Washington now PJ Washington's an idiot too because he should have seen Brittany Ritter coming but I digress and Ali Chopper is smarter than PJ Washington because at the end of the day he knows what this girl is he wanted to have his fun have his good time and now he's done he want to go out here and do his thing Right? Now, a lot of people saying, oh, she's not really sad. She's not really upset. She was just crying for attention. 
maybe that's a little bit of it, but to be honest with you, I think she really was upset. And I want to really talk about and zone in on why I don't think young, older women should even be dealing with younger men. I don't. Now, I know some of y'all are going to be like, wait a minute. Why are you saying older women shouldn't be dealing with younger men? Okay, you don't have, nobody has a problem with older men dealing with younger women. Well, let me explain. The reason I don't feel like older women should be dealing with younger men is because a younger man can't do anything for an older women. That's not my opinion. That's just facts. Outside of laying good pipe and having high testosterone, all right, and so he can go back to back and put rounds and tap that booty and rounds, what else can he do for you? Now, again, in the case of NLE Chopper, it's a little bit different because he's a rapper, so he could do a lot for her. But the average 19, 20, 21, 22, 23-year-old man can't do anything for a woman in her mid-20s to 30s to 40s. He's just not in the position yet to be able to do anything for her. He's probably not going to be ready to be married and sold down or have kids, and he's probably not financially going to be in a position to take care of this woman okay so the only way the relationship's really gonna work is if the woman is willing to take care of him which she might be willing to do for a small amount of time but as i say all the time that's not gonna last she's not gonna keep taking care of that man for the rest of his life she's not at some point she's gonna expect him to be a man and she's gonna expect him to pull his weight which at that age it may take a long time before he's able to pull that weight especially depending on what class financially the woman's in and we have to assume usually if a older lady is dealing with a younger man she's in the high financial class okay now when you flip it because you always want to flip it and i keep even though i keep telling you guys men and women are not equal we're equitable so you can't flip it but the difference between when a younger woman deals with an older man is the older man could do things for the younger woman okay not only is he more experienced in the bedroom so he honestly probably could deliver more pipe because he can't go as many rounds as a young boy but he learned a lot more tricks than a young boy so he could probably still get her where she needs to go he could financially provide for that woman and that could be anything she needs okay he could pay a phone bill he could pay a rent i went out on a date with a girl about four or five months ago right and i was gonna take her to this bar and when we pulled up to the bar she was like oh we can't go here and i was like why she was like because my sugar daddy take me here so he might be around here and i can't have him see me here because he pays my rent so we gotta go somewhere else so she pointed me to another bar we went and chilled at the other bar but that's my point see a woman a young woman gets a sugar daddy and the sugar daddy buys her books for college he get her a whole wardrobe he pay her car note her car insurance her phone bill her rent he taking care of her all right and he's giving her a whole lifestyle bump and he doesn't have a problem doing that he's not gonna pull back on that and all of a sudden be like i'm tired of taking care of your young fine sexy attractive non droopy titties having stuff I don't want to do it anymore. He's not going to do that. He's not going to do that, all right? And they both are an understanding, all right? And this is point number two. They both have an understanding of what it is. The sugar baby know she here to get spoiled, all right? And to hang out with that man, be a young piece on his shoulder, listen to his problems. If he want to get a little sugar, okay, now that's up to the woman. But if she want to give him a little sugar, and most of them are. They're going to tell you they are, but most of them are. She give him a little sugar, but she know what it is. He know what it is. There's no confusion about their relationship. See, the other problem besides Besides the fact that women are not going to want to provide for a man long term the vast majority of the time is women even if it starts out like a sugar mama it usually doesn't stay that way at some point their biology kicks in at some point they start to catch feelings at some point they you start to want more story time i had a sugar mama before yeah i had a sugar mama before i had an older white lady before when i was in college i was like 20 years old okay she was like 43 and everything was great at first. She knew what it was, all right? We would go out. I told this story somewhat before, but my first time ever going to Lambeau Field before I started going on my own was on account of that sugar mama, okay? She took me out to San Francisco. We used to hit up Chicago. We used to be all over the place. Now, everybody knew what it was, like I said at first. I knew, she knew, her friends knew, everybody knew what it was. But eventually, she must have in her head, at some point, started to think that it was more than what it really was. Because at one point, I met a girl in college who who I really liked and when I met the girl in college that I really liked she got a whole attitude with me about it which caught me off guard I'm like wait a minute I know you didn't really think that we were serious I thought you knew you know I just supply the pipe okay I make you feel young again all right and we go out and we have fun and we do things but that's just supposed to be it to the point where even when she told her friends her friends echoed my sentiments they're like well yeah girl he's 20 I know you're not thinking that this is serious, but she was distraught. She was hurt. She was upset. She was crying. She even went and found the girl. 
that I started talking to before we even got together and sent her a bunch of pictures like, you know, he's talking to me and da da da, blase, 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 blase. Went to this whole damn tangent. The girl come back to me like, who's the old lady? Why is this old lady in my inbox? It turned into a whole mess. And this is what generally happens. Now, NLE Chopper, this might be his girlfriend, but I guarantee you, he never thought marriage. He never thought you're going to have my kids. He was never taking it that serious. And even if he was, even if he said it out of his mouth, he's 19. Who's taking a 19-year-old of either sex seriously? Especially at 26. Again, 19. All right? So if he was saying it, he's just talking. He don't know what he wants. He don't know what he really trying to do, his experience in life. But at some point, after he beat the cheek so many times, after you give him so many experiences, you spend so much time with them, a woman naturally, nine out of ten times, not all, but most, they're going to fall for you. They're going to want to develop some type of emotional connection to you or they're just going to naturally start to develop some type of emotional connection to you like this woman did. And then next thing you know, when he inevitably goes, hey, you know, I want to kind of explore more, do my own thing, be with somebody my own age. They're hurt. They're distraught. They're really bothered by the situation. Like I said, I don't think that woman's faking. Not only do I not think that she's faking because she like, damn, this is a multimillionaire. He could have changed my life. But I also don't think that she's faking because I do think she really started to like this kid. She really started to develop a bond with this kid, as dumb as it may be, because he's 19. Yes, I'm going to keep saying that. He's 19. I really do think she started to get to a point where she really thought this was going to go somewhere, as goofy as it may be. Most women, that's what's going to happen. Now, when you have an older man and you have a younger woman, a lot of the times, again, you don't run into this situation, the younger woman or the older man. Now, sometimes the younger woman gets upset because he picks a new sugar baby or he moves on, right? But most of the time, she understands that it is what it is. Sometimes the older man might get upset if he sees he's messing around with a young guy her age or something like that. Like the one girl who told me she didn't want her sugar baby to see, sugar daddy to see us at the club. But it's rare. For the most part, they understand. And when they do want to take it to the next level, it's mutual. And the reason it's mutual is because if a sugar daddy decides to take it to the next level with his sugar baby, he's going to marry her or he's going to give her some kids. So she's getting access to that bag permanently. He's going to put her on his life insurance plan. So she knows she's about to cash out when he ultimately croaks, which is not too far from now. Like it just works out. It's not the same thing when you're dealing with a man or a woman. These are not situations that are mutually exclusive or that you can compare or cross compare like that there's just too many optics that makes it different there's too many situations that make it different all right and because i know inevitably most of the time not all but most of the time it ends with the woman being emotionally distressed feeling used feeling played and crying like this girl did okay i don't think older women and younger men should ever mesh because again the older the younger man is not going to provide you with anything you ultimately want to need he's not going to provide for you he's probably not really going to be he might be an okay protector for you but is he really going to protect you because he likes you that much he's probably not going to give you any kids he's probably not even going to marry you because he's just not there yet whereas an older man with a younger woman he's probably not even looking for any of that extra stuff he probably just wants to have good time someone to talk to and some young ass but on top of that if he did want to marry her michael b jordan is the rarity it's not the rule i'll repeat michael b jordan is the rarity it's not the rule most of the time the young woman is going to take the older man's offer if he's secure but because lori got her own bag is the only thing that changed that situation if lori was the regular 25 year old she doesn't turn michael b jordan down just like the regular 25 year old wouldn't turn shit michael jordan down or anybody else down who could change their life but lori could provide her own lifestyle but in most cases the sugar baby's not going to turn the sugar daddy down she's not and Again, in most cases, it doesn't even get to that point because they already know it's a business from jump. They're both on the same page about it. With women, that extra emotional attachment usually comes in. But this is why I say women shouldn't date younger men. And most women know that. Personally, I think a woman who's dating a younger man is a little bit off in her head because everything I'm saying, most of them already know. Most women are well aware of this. So you have to question why she would get with a 19-year-old, again, 19, and think that it's going to work out or be anything serious or go anywhere serious in the first place. What's wrong with her? What's off in her head? You got to assume that it's the money, hopefully. Otherwise, I don't know. I think she should just take therapy or something like that. Because again, you're about to be 27. This boy is 19. Why would you take it that serious? Why would you think that it's going anywhere? Y'all too different. Y'all too far apart. But anyway, that's my thoughts on that. And that's why I honestly don't believe that younger men should date older women. Older women should not go down younger. They just shouldn't do it. If anything, go older than you are. If you're 26, go and get you a 50-year-old or something like that.
you 40, get you a 60 year old or something like that. I don't know what to tell you, but going with a young man ain't gonna work out. Unless you're gonna be one, unless the young man has no hustle, no grind in his heart, and you're just willing to take care of this grown man for the rest of your life in exchange for getting that young testosterone filled D, it ain't gonna work out. And most of the time, you're just not gonna be willing to do that. Men are willing to pay to have young V box around. Women are not going to be willing to pay to have a young man around just for D. At a certain point, they're going to want more, whether that be marriage, kids, or a family, and the young man's often not going to be willing to provide that. So that's my thoughts on that situation. I am Alex, and I am out. Peace.